I've done quite a few videos related to the cost of retirement here in Cambodia and also in Thailand. But what is the cheapest? Could you live on a shoestring? I think the cheapest, but it would be very uncomfortable, especially if you come from the West, to live per month is going to be round about $300, but it's not going to be nice. The average salary in Cambodia, just the average I'm going to say, let's say someone who works in uh, as a waitress or in a gasoline station, maybe at a push, 300 US. Now, can you live on that amount? Just say you're alone, you're single, no commitments. So your accommodation, you can find accommodation in this country for 150 in the city center. It would consist of a room, a very small CR or powder room, no air conditioning. It may have an electric fan and maybe the electricity bill on top of that may be 10 or 20. So that's 170 already. You need to have to think about your visa. Now, a retirement visa in this country is about $294. If you do it through a travel agent, you can do it cheaper by yourself. So if you're in the capital, maybe you can do it for 190, which is going to equal something like 50 cents a day. But let's say it's $1 a day. So now we're up to, you could say close to 200 with this, maybe like um, one year. Let's just say around 200. Food. You can eat the street food every single day. Now, let's say you have two meals every day and that meal may cost you $1.50. It's going to fill you up. It's not going to be exactly very healthy. And maybe you could have one soda with that. Or can of Coca-Cola you could buy from 7-Eleven. And if you're really tight with your money, that may include one small bottle of beer. And my cat is just literally walking past as we go across. It means that you wouldn't get any television. You would have a phone. Let's say you come with the phone to the country. Then if you want internet, then per month is about $5 and you get eight gigabytes of data. There may be free Wi-Fi in the apartment or there's a free Wi-Fi hotspot. And so it's really tight, but your life would just be waking up, taking a shower and seeing how much you can spend per day. And now if you wanted a haircut, for example, you may have to save up for that. If you wanted to get your teeth cleaned, it cost me $20, but it's the average between 10 and 20 to clean it every uh, six months or so. It's not going to include any hospital or medical expenses that go wrong or any pharmaceuticals that you need or even toothbrush or toothpaste. So can you do it for 300? You can, but it's going to be really tight. So if you double that, you can possibly, yeah, do it for 600, which is $20 on average per day. It's going to be a bit of a better lifestyle. You can still eat two meals a day. Your accommodation could be the same, maybe with a air conditioning unit. And you maybe have a beer or two that may include some, um, uh, your dentist, your haircut, your teeth, and maybe some simple things when you go to the doctors, for example. But here, you can just go to the pharmacy and you, because you don't need prescriptions all the time just to get some medicine. And the doctors in the pharmacy or the pharmacist usually knows what's wrong with you and can sort it out like that. In Thailand, it's going to be basically double of what I mentioned. You can't do it for $300 per month. It's near enough impossible. You can, but it's going to be just, you would say, what's the point of living with that? In Thailand, to get a retirement visa, you need, you need to be 50-50. In Cambodia, it's 55. 
and it's a longer process, a more complicated process to do the visa in Thailand. So can you afford that on your, let's say, $600 per month? Here, you can actually do it. Uh, the visa obviously is the same amount, but it's going to give you $20 a day. So on a shoestring, let's say $10, but that's pretty awful. But imagine you had an extra $10 on top of that, then maybe the accommodation could be a bit better. Maybe there's a chance for air conditioning. Maybe there's a chance for three meals a day instead of two. And occasionally you could go to a cheap bar, for example, where the beer would be 50 cents so you could have two or three beers and that would be better and that could also include a more comfortable cost for your visa as well so 300 yeah absolutely 600 yep yeah, you can it's better um, I but you would live really like a local now that sounds awful for me to say so here the cost per person for very comfortable really comfortable i would say 2000 i always say this number and also in thailand but it won't be as comfortable because things are like double the price in thailand compared to cambodia for your retirement um, my cost well there's two of us living in this house um, the house is paid for. We do have two cats as well, which cost maybe like $5 each per day, including that's for their food. And then also you have the injections, etc. I do like to travel. I like to go to Thailand quite often, maybe three or four times a year, just hop across the border. Each time it's a holiday, it's another, let's say, $1,000 to um, have a great time in a three or four star hotel, etc., etc. So if you are really tired of living in America and it's too expensive, you can come to Cambodia and do it for 300. You can't go to Thailand to do it for 300. Um, you, it's much better in this country if you had at least 600, maybe a thousand. Yeah, no problems at all. And in Thailand, I would say 2000. But for both countries, I would say for really comfortable living, yeah, you can do it for 2000. But definitely, would you really want to uh, live where you're scrimping and scrimping for even to for a haircut which would cost you like two dollars like this or you go to the dentist you would have to save for six weeks etc etc it's all food for four but that's the general cost of you could say if you're really on a shoestring you can actually do it um, on on the cheap but life would be i would say pretty awful. It's all food for thought. I've been living in Asia for 30 years. I retired when, I'm, when I was 44. I'm 55 year, years old now. I'll be 56 this year. And uh, I've been retired for all that time, for so about 12 years. My, I do like air conditioning. I do like, I do have Netflix. I do have free televisions. I have a huge fridge. I have this beautiful house. Yeah? I'm not a rich guy, but I did some investments when I was young, which have let me do this lifestyle and have more than enough that I need. So I can have some luxuries like going on holiday. Um, last year, unfortunately, my mum passed away. I could afford a business class um, ticket. I got the business class in the end, and the whole thing, uh, the whole trip was like 2,500 American dollars, if you get my... Um, if you get my drift. There are going to be some bad times. There are going to be some times when there is an additional income, so you may have to sell something or whatever. Um, it's always great to have a backup plan. And of course, you got the medical as well and your insurance. Well, if you're relatively healthy, maybe you can do it for a thousand. So the 300 is the real, real basic package. 600 in this country, yet yeah, you can do it. A thousand, you can be quite comfortable with it. 2000 in Cambodia, that's living really nicely with insurance and holidays away to different foreign countries like Thailand, again, for example. In Thailand, yep, yeah, you can do it for 2000, which is sort of like 70,000 baht. Visas are harder to do. You can get really good, cheap, 
street food that you can live on. Yeah, you can have a bottle of beer, but it's sort of going to be tight for 2000 with all the expenses like your internet, like your TV, like your cable, like your insurance, like um, the medical expenses. Maybe you do have some animals. Maybe you have an expensive girlfriend, etc., etc. All these costs come into play. And as I said before, if you are considering to retire into Asia, do go to Asia first on holiday. Live in Thailand for, for one month. See if you can rent a a place for one month and see the cost of it just living normally it's not going out every night and getting paralytically drunk and going to a go-go bar and, and falling in love every single night it's actually living here and can you do it do you get bored do you have enough entertainment are you happy what was the actual cost per month what are the additional costs that you would pay living here year to year excuse me Then once you've done Thailand, come over to Cambodia, come to Siam Rip, come to where I am living. And again, live here for the month. It's easy to get the visas for these short stays to tourists. And check out what it's like to live. Again, not getting paralytically drunk, staying at home, reading books, watching TV, going out with your friends going to the cinema, that transportation, do you need a motorbike, Is the um, or can you use public transport, etc, etc. And are you happy? Is it worth packing up, living in Arkansas and moving to the tropics where it's really hot, like, especially now, which is summertime? Is it bearable? Are you are you or were you happier in America or are you happier in Asia? You can find a little bit out when you do go as a holiday. And if you think, yeah, this is much better, then don't sell up everything in your own country. Don't sell it up. Try it for one year. And if you think, wow, this is fantastic, then keep it alive. But I wouldn't sell up everything that you have in the States or in the UK, for example. I would. Um, keep your assets there until you're really convinced. Now, I'm a little bit different because I lived here ever since I was like 24, 25 years old. And my assets are in Asia. I have no assets at all in the United Kingdom. I hope this was useful. And I'm glad to say hello to all my new subscribers who have joined. There's a new age group, which is the younger generation. So this video doesn't really apply to you. This is for like my age group, but I will keep making these short videos occasionally of what's happening in Asia. And I will wish you wherever you are today, a very happy Easter. It's Easter Sunday when I'm recording this. God bless to all. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.